Hey guys, just doing a video before I go to sleep of a, a potential breakout candidate um, in the next, I think it'll break out in the next half a week to a week. Uh, this is CVC or Civic and it is a cryptocurrency that has identification built into it. So uh, opposite of something like Monero where Monero is completely anonymous and used for anonymous transaction. Civic will be used to actually uh, identify the person as the transaction is happening. Um, this has been in one of the top 20 um, market cap coins, so it's a pretty large coin. And it's one of the only coins in my portfolio that has not broken out and doubled or tripled in the last week. So I think this one is going to um, break out quite soon, and so I'm going to show you the graphs and the support levels for all of these. Um, I'm going to show you the ones that have broken out just so that you can see the pattern. And then uh, I'm going to show you Civic um, and maybe what to expect for Civic. So here we have Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Cash, uh, this green line, all the green lines that I've drawn are, are the resistance levels. And um, resistance levels are made of previous places where the price couldn't break out of. And once it breaks out, then it falls back and becomes a support. So here you have Bitcoin uh, Cash and the support level was uh, 1,005. Once it broke out here in mid-November, uh, it's broken out and pulled back a couple of times, but now we can see it's trading at 2,200, uh, uh, double, uh, two times return. Um, here's Ripple. I've been holding Ripple since September, and we can see from September, um, from back here in, um, May, uh, we see this uh, price point of 30 cents that every single time it hit 30 cents it would retrace back, hit 30 cents, retrace back. And just several days ago it broke through that 30 cents and it's currently trading at 81 cents. Um, so over two times, two and a half times. Um, so if you had a thousand dollars in there you'd have three thousand five hundred dollars. Um, here's Monero and Monero is a is you can see the resistance level that was uh, there um, at the sixty one dollar range and it held that resistance level all the way until um, we see late August and then it broke out and the new resistance level was formed at one forty six pulled back down broke through there and now is currently trading at three hundred and eighty two I was holding this. Um, around that second breakout so in September was the first time that I picked this coin up and um, it's more than doubled in price since that time. This is Omisigo and Omisigo you can see that uh, in September it, it had a high retraced and then it just broke that high four days ago and it has uh, gone from 12 to 21 almost doubled in price and I expect that this one will continue to rise um, Omisigo is um, a platform that is really catered toward the third world and um, being a bank in someone's pocket uh, who has never experienced a bank and so a lot of the third world countries are going to be using Omisigo in, uh, in Asia. Uh, so I picked that one up in September. Dash, um, Dash is a really great example of um, support and resistance. So here you have resistance every time it hit this $225 level it would retrace back until it broke out of that in um, mid-August and it formed a second resistance level here at the $400 range and fell back down to su uh, support, bounced off support and then broke through that resistance and that resistance became the new support and from 409 it's now trading, Dash is trading at $1219 and I picked that one up in September when it was $300 and it's at $1200 now. Litecoin is my favorite and you can see why it's my favorite. Um, it had a resistance level in September I bought it at like $94 and from $94 we can see it hit there, retraced back down um, broke through there and then that resistance became support and then it shot up and it went from $94 it's currently trading at $362 so all of these are like 2x 3x some 4x iota um, this one went up 600% in uh, last week 
and I actually got into this one a little bit late and uh, I let it go just because um, I'm not completely convinced that the Tangle technology of the blockchain is um, is going to have sticking power so I'm kind of going to watch this one for a while. If it falls closer down to the support level, maybe if it gets down to 2, 2.5, I might pick it up again. Um, but you can see clear support resistance here as well. Um, Bitcoin Gold, not a fan. Um, Ethereum, this is uh, one of the second largest uh, cryptocurrency on the market. Uh, right after Bitcoin and you can see that every time it hit this 395 96 level uh, it would break down and come back up to it break down and then it clearly broke that resistance level that resistance then became support and we can see that it went from 397 all the way up now it's trading at 839 making new highs today and over doubled in price so um, that's a great one that's in my portfolio. Um, uh, of course, this is Bitcoin and Bitcoin we can see had an amazing year. Uh, its first resistance was at 3000 and it bounced off at 3000 a couple times. When it broke through, went all the way to 5000, retraced back to the $3,000 mark and you can see a perfect uh, resistance then becomes support because it comes straight back down to that $3,000 level support, breaks through that, and then the $5,000 level becomes support, and that's uh, right around where I bought it between uh, at the end of September, beginning of October. Uh, from that time of $5,000, I thought that that was extremely expensive. It was making new highs, and um, I just made the decision to buy it because it would be a long-term hold, and it went from... 5200 and it's currently trading at $18,878, which is completely insane. Um, so here, this is the one that I wanted to talk about. This is Civic, and I actually wanted to talk about this uh, yesterday, and I didn't. But you can see that uh, it has been in this range for several months, and it is now breaking out. And this afternoon, it was at 50 Five and it's already at $65 and so uh, it's been up um, because yesterday it closed at $57.65 so it's over a 12% return so far but I think this is the next one that we will see it uh, up in the dollar plus range um, having 100% return so uh, I'm actually going to increase my size in this um, coin and be looking for it to go up uh, 100% to 200% in the next week or so. Not saying that that's going to happen, no one has a crystal ball, but um, everything else in my portfolio has gone up in the last several weeks and it looks like this one is uh, looking to break out of uh, its price range as well. So that's my pick for the next week. Um, I'll do another video next week to see what happens with this coin. Um, again, just a disclaimer that I'm not a financial advisor, uh, but these are just things that I see uh, to have fun with. And um, if you like this kind of content and you want to uh, hear another um, pick uh, next week, then go ahead, click subscribe on the MoneyWorks button, and I'll see you in the next video.